Hello and welcome back to Polynerdic Plays Tales from the Borderlands. Uh, we are about to start episode 4. Um, gonna roll right on through episode 4, episode 5, wrap this game up today. I, uh, I love these narrative uh, driven telltale games. I don't like some of the mechanics they include in them, like the quick time events and whatnot, but I like the story that they un unfold. Uh, I haven't played one yet that has had a truly bad story. Uh, probably my least favorite of the stories that they've ever done has been um, Walking Dead Season 2. I didn't care for that too much. But uh, the Batman game was amazing. This one's been pretty good. Um, Walking Dead Season 1 was fantastic. So let's uh, dive deeper into this. And get rolling on this here. So we started at 04.30. Here we go. Diving into episode four. Get comfortable here. Been sitting a the while. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Hi. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. Killing, and the though. dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the Gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their Turns last. Up to Helios. That's crazy. Shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Old Troy Baker, Are Laura Bailey. Thinking? There's yeah. Batman and Catwoman like in a different you're universe. Thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <laughs> I seriously doubt that. We could jump him. Hey, you, what? There's two of us. Even you should like those odds. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You're not the one who keeps beating up. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, well, it's I, and and you run. Blue. Okay, it uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Going on three. One... Three, go! <laughs> <laughs> He's 
zigzagging. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. What's that? Duct tape. Uh, this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. I really want to see how this story plays out. Another musical interlude here that we can't hear anything of. No. Vaughn! Shut up. Oh. Hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. I wonder if it's got a what monster in it like the rest like? of the vaults do. I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well... That's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> She's still pinned under the damn gun. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling this guilty. That's what Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Well, she wasn't Enough, assassin. Athena. Let's talk about what you and your friends... Hey, it's hey, what are you doing with him? And There's the no guy. need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher, and you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. That's all you want? I wish Athena got to kill you. Oh. You made that very clear, young lady. Very clear. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my leave. We'll remember this. Hmm. I suspected you would. Vaughn! You all right? Ah, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal <laughs> circumstances... <laughs> Your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is... Yes. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters, 
Things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Somebody take this out. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. Stuff, yes, whatever you want. Please, just... Just leave him alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. Patch up the nerd. Don't want him bleeding out on us. Oh, great. Getting dragged away some more. Shouldn't the, uh, the dude the Mohawk have less hair? Now. Then I burn off most of it. Son. Yeah? Be a deer and help them come up with a plan. Call yes, ma'am. Let's really get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do That's this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Okay, well, okay, come on. This isn't the first time we've Look, had I to get- I know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've gotta get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we How's can your make tum -tum some How's your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll teach work. you to hit the taco I truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna <sighs> Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the stuff. So Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down no, no, I'm sure every there's, aspect there's of the mission. In there somewhere, no, we just, just gotta keep looking. The one forcing us to go on a Actually, I mission. could use your help. Jack's fantastic. Yeah, of course you could. Great. Real help. Is that a yes or no? What? You I think old Jack would leave his meat buddy is, hanging? We don't have a choice. I Valerie's kind of got honestly us back don't into know how to answer that. You don't think I know so that? Listen, then maybe I hate to be the bearer of solutions. good news here, but okay, if there's one what? thing that you know about me, know. it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. Hey, what's your solution? That's why I'm going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You've got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh, man. I got, I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally punch someone in the face before you shoot them. Yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Everyone just please shut up for a second. Again, because here, here's, here's the deal. I... <sighs> the beacon is in handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I it's a nice callback. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? I get that you're scared. Okay, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship, obviously. 
Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Scooter got a spaceship? Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. That's simple, huh? Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then it's I'll disable the, the security way. system. This <laughs> is typing animation. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. Hmm. And for the grand finale, I'll digestruct a vast skies. But Hyperion's gonna <laughs> want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. Start feeling like Vasquez dies no matter what choice you And make that getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell them, Princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. No, oh, that's the thing. You two are arguing so much I couldn't get a word in. Yeah, that never stopped you before. <laughs> Should have heard yourself. <laughs> yeah, okay, Reese. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly yeah. not. We're worried about you. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me, okay? I know Helios like the back of my hand. <laughs> Which one, jerk-off? Oh, actually, I was wondering about that. When you take care of business, do you use robo-hands or your real one? All right. Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. So now we're switching to a heist motif. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! <laughs> that robot. Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. Could be. heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Oh, Scooter's a solid guy. He's not gonna hold a tiny little con against us. I guess he does seem to like us. Yeah, maybe. Ha! 
Yes, I live and breathe if I'm Fiona, looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, ha <laughs> ha. Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on, ha <laughs> ha. Nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron till it pop. But anyway, yeah. it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Just ignore the question. Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's just, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, would one of you like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can I can shut mine? We need your help. Valerie's after word. us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh, man. I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite... Uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. Just let him have this. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! <laughs> that all sounds great. <laughs> Only Fucking problem scooter. is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh, wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh, no. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. That's a nice bike. You make that yourself? I did. It was gonna be a present for Athena when she got back. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She said it was just an easy protection job. As if anything's ever easy out here. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She said it wouldn't be dangerous. She said... She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Gone. Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It took two Vault Hunters, and Valerie, and... Her entire gang just to take her down. <laughs> That's my girl. Yes, yeah, basically <laughs> what happened. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke or something. She didn't really get a chance to say anything. It just happened so fast. I'm Honesty. Sorry. Oh, that's... Yeah, I should have figured. Hey! I was gonna have a dumb hey, question. Hey, Athena's gonna be alright, Janie. And there's no use worrying about her, trust me. What you need is something to take your mind off this whole thing for a little while. Yeah. Good point, Scooter. Yeah, maybe. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh, man! 
That sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into spice and all that, it would be like just, just wow! Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, Space Buddies! <laughs> Fucking Scooter. He's ridiculous. While Fiona was talking her way into a rocket caravan, I was going to meet up with Walletthead. Fortunately, I had company. It's a horrible place to I, be. I, uh, should have said this earlier. <laughs> Can't believe Fiona let you get stabbed. Don't blame her. She couldn't have known. Valerie was the one holding the knife. I'm just glad she agreed to help when she did. Hold me. I'm not sure how I feel about you going to Helios without me. I think I'm kind of glad. I don't know if I want to get tempted to stay. But then again, it'd be nice to see some people. Yvette, especially. Well, you'll definitely be missed. The old stomping grounds won't be the same without you. Well, you were the best up there. If anyone can pull this off, you can, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry, uh, we're not doing it together. I mean, did you get a little stabbed? Sure. But, look, man, you're handling yourself in ways that I would have never expected. Like, jumping on Valerie's back like that? That was pretty epic, wasn't it? <laughs> totally. I mean, she beat the living shit out of me right after you left. And I took it! Yeah, of course she did. But, but, you saved my ass. I did, didn't I? <laughs> you did. You think I should try and escape while you guys are gone? I mean, if I'm the only collateral she has, maybe it'll help if I'm off the table. Take away her leverage. I mean, obviously running seems dangerous, but... Look, you make a break for it as soon as you can. It's got nothing to do with collateral. It's, it's about keeping you safe, so... Be careful. See, I knew his eye was blue. Okay. It's yellow. Let we'll find you after we get the stuff. piece. I know you will. I have faith in you. We'll make it. All right. Well, it's all you from here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I could keep up anyway. Bro, knee? Hmm? Brony. Bro, just bros. be careful out there, okay? They love that bro joke, man. Almost as much as the bro force guys do. Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. And you are staying here. And, uh, if you ain't back with the goods, you could use your buddy's corpse to get inside Helios. Ah, excuse me. Okay, bit, I get it. Not the least bit tired. Not sure why I'm yawning. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not crap our pants. But you <laughs> are gonna have such a hard off <laughs> in my office, Reese. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Whatever. Uh, back here again. I thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. Skaggs. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. 
Ew. This skin pill. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, I agree, I agree Reese. What were the pepperonis? The skin pizza. Oh, you clearly haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Where does face go? Gotta look for his face. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. Yeah, you can't make a... Digital no, not to blow up your ego, kid, but I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like-minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. You can help me climb the ranks of Hyperion. Climb? That's poor person talk, Greasy. Think rocket-powered yacht to the frickin' moon. Huh? You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? That's a pretty big-ass tripwire to miss. <clears throat> oh. Well, Psycho looks like these psychos face. had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you Psychos. wanna get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Boof, disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I wanna end up psycho dinner. Disturb huh? sleep? Flawless. Not now. Interrupt Rems. <laughs> Alright, good, good. Again, this time with feeling. Give up the old smackdown. Atta boy. Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. Smacky oh. Dabby. I should punch with this arm more often. Yeah, dumbass. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader. <laughs> Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. <laughs> Doesn't hit driver psycho. Yep, there we are. Giggles. Oh, looks yeah, like we found too. our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay, just peeling it off. Peeling off the face. Not going to barf into his mouth <laughs> with your mouth. <sighs> That's it. Go on, peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Ew. Oh no 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 no! Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh god, that's so that that is just the the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh god, oh. I can't stop now. Oh no no no. Jack. No. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch, pinch it off. Just pinch it oh, off. Please. Seriously? Oh, please don't do this. So please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross. <laughs> Smash the baby's face. Crunch its teeth. <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal. I can fly! So once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? Couldn't even count them all. Oh, damn it.
You were too busy trying out. to save face. Okay, technically it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... Which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho <laughs> with chest bomb. Boom! What? Where's Vaughn? Little bastard bit me, then ran off. You said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh. Pull up Vasquez's body. Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it, baby. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. You. You, you, you. <laughs> Cooler full of Vasquez. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within 10 seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. Quick change. Like that so, have new clothes. What are you gonna get, machine. sis? All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kind of want you to spend all of August's money. Hey. Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. Alright, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. I'll go with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? <whistles> Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Not impressing anyone with this, but it's all right. So, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. Uh, for what? Oh, nothing in particular. Just like to throw apologies out there in case I miss something, you know? Uh, better to play it safe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing to do. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know, and you dress terrible, so maybe I should just take my chances. You look like absolute corporate scum. Huh, awesome. That's what I was going for. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. One thing. Hmm. I mean, being Hyperion is just as much about the attitude as, as the clothes, so... Uh, it, put put your nose up like you're, you know, uh, tracking down a stench. Better? Perfect. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my 
severed face here. Yeah. Oh, that's so gross. Have fun with that. Face flopping around. Reminds me of the Joker. Just the, uh, get to the death of the family arc when he had his face all cut off. And Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, god. oh god. Much worse from this side. Oh. Skin unlocked. Will the face be all bloody and gross looking? <sighs> nope. That's convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... <laughs> oh, definitely weird. That's good stuff. Well, it's certainly... big. That's Scooter for you. I hope Vaughn's all right. I'm sure it's he's fine. Big-ass rockets. We'll find him when we get back. I mean, that's what you need. A little tiny caravan attached to the big-ass rockets. That's uh, funny. Got a musical segment here, I can tell. We get the right stuff shot with the astronaut crew walking. Yep, yep, yep. Love know what music's playing here. Whoa, Fiona sees it. Quit flirt with my sister. <laughs> Scooter's flirting with Fiona. That's great. I love that they don't have an elevator. They just got a damn ladder to climb. Those of you watching this, I apologize for the lack of music. You know how it goes with copyright issues. I love that I'm 40 minutes into this episode and I'm just now getting the title card. Up, oh, face full puke. Poor August, son of a bitch. Okay, I get it. It looks like that's someone else's hair strapped to his head. Maybe I'm wrong. Some sort of like mohawk extension after the, the rest of his hair was burnt off. Or just looks like something from another universe, not Borderlands. Something more anime based. Anime based. Anima. Sounds back. Fee, you gotta see this. I'm 
no the help? Flesh off button. Not a problem. That's creepy. Right. Sorry. I know it's where we're from, but... It's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least, with you. It looks so... I don't... Peaceful. Who'd have thought? We haven't even gone that far, and it all feels a million miles away. It's beautiful from up here. From up here? Sure. It's a shame we have to go back. Yeah. Wish we could just turn this just thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... We can talk about the future in the future. Right now, we've got a job to do. Keep your head in the game. Please, don't worry about me. I'm a professional. You should really be worried about those dopes. Yeah, really. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. I know we're good at improvising, but... Eh, we wing it. <laughs> of course we do. When you're good at something, why stop? Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Stella! need for that. Stop it! Come on, man. I gotta get some out of this trip. You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Why? It's cool. <laughs> Is that a person? Hey! Looks like we've got another dead bad guy! Henderson. Oh, I'm the engine. Impact detected on center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know. Did you know the damage is critical? So, this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Um, how critical exactly? Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. So it's real bad? Pretty bad, yeah. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. Alarm's still going? Now that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. 
step three is us making out. What? Huh? What? Huh? Space helmet uh, don't you worry your pretty little yeah all of it yeah but yourself but I'll be walking you through it though interesting helmet hey, tattoo. It feels like a spacewalk attire. Some business suit. Freaking weird ass fish nets. Yeah, don't float off into space. That's bad news. That's right. Easy does it. Tells her a chomper thing. Okay, I'm here. All right, now see that panel there that keeps opening and shutting? A uh, dangerous looking one? Yeah, that's it. Now there's a yellow button in there that you gotta push. That's step one. Right. The button wedged all the way in the back. Oh, you got it? All right. No! What? <laughs> when you press it, you gotta pull your arm out real quick because it's gonna clamp down something fierce. You got me? Be careful. You're almost there. <clears throat> Left rocket stable, Fiona. All right. Now pull the last to detach that sucker while we still can. <clears throat> Simple enough. <clears throat> Awesome. Now get your ass over to my side. Make it fast. Why can't he do everything? Huh? His arm's stuck, that's why. Of course. Of course his arm's stuck. Can't do step two without step one, right? No. Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. Guys, that rocket's at critical. You gotta hurry. No, no, I, I can pull you out. Listen, there ain't nothing you can do that I ain't already tried, okay? This can't be happening. Uh, what's Scooter going on out there? Nothing. Don't you worry. Fiona's got this. Hey. Hey. You gotta go over there, pull that latch, and cut this rocket loose. There's no time for anything else, you understand? I... I understand. Good, cause I don't really feel like arguing with you either. Your face gets all squinty when you get mad. <laughs> I had a great look. Dude's about to die and he's still flirting. Now don't you go feeling all sorry for me, all right? People on Pandora will be talking about old Scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. You're a hero. You know that, right? I kinda am, huh? You are. Well, it feels good. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys. Kind of 
Pull the lever. I'm not going on. I gotta catch a ride. Pull the lever. As soon as we get a moment, we're gonna break this episode. All right, y'all. For uh, it's archiving probably purposes. Probably but you see Moxie or Ellie, you tell them I did some awesome shit. Okay? It's been real. Catch a ride. It's like Doctor Strange love almost. All right, right there. I'm gonna break it for archiving purposes for YouTube. I'll be right back, and uh, we'll continue on with more of Tales from the Borderlands. I'm gonna finish up episode four, jump into episode five. See you shortly. I'll be right back. <laughs>